You could have slept anywhere on this bed. You slept right there. In a million years, would you ever expect to come on Samantha Joe's channel and see a closet that looks like this? She popped out a baby! Oh no, we have to go fast. The window exploded. I've got these little window sills in my room. Hey, wait. I look like ridiculous. <gasps> oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning, doctors. Waking up in a new house. I bet I know a dog that has to go outside. Somebody, like, wake me up. When September ends, my water wouldn't turn on for a second, and I don't know if you could see the fear in my face. I thought they turned my water off. I haven't even got a chance to pay the bill yet. <gasps> Hello! She popped out a baby! Oh my goodness, you're so little! No. <laughs> no. How big is he? Eight pounds, ten ounces. put my pants over my toes in hopes that I could keep them warm. You can see right through these pants. The concrete is freezing. It's 40 degrees outside. I don't know how this happens to me every single time I move into a new place. I get locked out within the first week. This time it happened on the first day and it wasn't my fault. It kind of was, but it wasn't. I have to sit here and suffer until the locksmith gets here. The animals are looking at me like, what are you doing outside? Each one of my butt cheeks is frozen. By the time the locksmith gets here, I will have been waiting for them to arrive for an hour. All I wanna do is make breakfast because I can do abs. No, I can't. If you're stupid and you know it, strike a pose. If you're stupid and you know it, strike a pose. If you're stupid and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're stupid and you know it, strike a pose. So many people have gone by and just are watching me sit outside this house. Like, oh, she's just having a moment. No, I cannot get back in my house. I'm spiraling right now. It's a great time for me to learn the community. I'm new here. I've been sitting out here since approximately 7.38. It's their entire job to get you inside. Like they have to be able to get me inside. I'm not that confident. Give me a second. I need to get my story straight. I am on my porch balcony and I can't feel my ass cheeks. I'm waiting on a locksmith and he's pulling up in his car and he's gonna pick that lock from me and shove his i'll update you if i ever get inside why did this happen to me one eternity later there has not been a moment in my life where i have appreciated being inside so much this is where the feeling <laughs> sinks in you didn't help me at all i cannot feel my feet everyone's so worried about me i'm not used to having stairs i'm probably gonna be slightly out of breath I promise I've been working out again, but it takes a minute to get back into shape. It's a Sunday and all I've done today is unpack. Let me show you my closet. I just feel like I have to, just in case I mess it up. In a million years, would you ever expect to come on Samantha Joe's channel and see a closet that looks like this? I Roy G. Bibbed this bitch. Roy G. Bib white. Roy G. Bib black. These are zip ups and hoodies. These are crew necks. Long sleeves and sweaters. T-shirts and tank tops. Dark jeans, regular jeans. Comfy pants. Some sweatpants. But up shirts and cardigans. We color coordinated our t-shirts too. We got some skirts and a couple of dresses. And then I just started to stick my shoes in these little cubbies. That is what I've spent my entire day doing. I've been really into watching other people get ready while I'm getting ready. Maybe it's just because I feel like I lack like human conversation. I'm getting ready to film a video. No other humans are gonna see me, like just you guys. I don't care what you guys think I look like. If you guys tell me I look bad, then you're just mean. And that sounds like a you problem and not a me problem, but we are gonna put a little bit of makeup on. Spiff us up a bit. Whenever I film fashion videos, for some reason I feel like I have to be presentable because if I'm putting on like a cute outfit, I can't see the whole picture if I'm not ready. What happened today? I don't even know what this video has been for you because I don't know what I expected today to be like, but it's been a ride. My sister gave birth this morning, so I have a new little nephew, which means I have to go back to Wisconsin to go hold his little hands and touch his little nose. I think he was like eight pounds and 10 ounces. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen my sister. She's a tiny human. I'm, okay, I was about to say I'm a tiny human. Why the fuck you lie? I'm not a tiny human, but I have a tiny frame, which is why if I gain like 0.2 pounds, it looks like I gained 15 pounds. Have I told you what I'm using? Glossier skin tint. I probably need more coverage than this, honestly. I just got off my period, so my skin is 
not good. I'm trying to swear less. Just because I feel like swear words have no meaning. Oh, well, they have a meaning. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. They're very powerful and impactful. But why are they powerful and impactful? At this point, I use swear words as filler words, and I don't think that that is great. Try to hold me to that. I'm gonna swear less. I need all the help I can get to seem more sophisticated, so I'm gonna start speaking in a more regal manner. After I watched season two of Bridgerton, I was texting people, and I literally had to stop myself because I was sending texts like, we shall go. Like, you shall not do that. Oh, heavens be. Did anyone even swear in Bridgerton? Where did swear words come from? Who started the swear words? And then who said they were bad? Swear words are only bad because we say they're bad. Anytime I've heard a noise in the past two days, I think someone's breaking in. I have felt that way about every new building I have moved into. First few nights I spend alone in a place, I think someone's gonna come get me. But I forget that like I'm surrounded by other houses that have like never been broken into, hopefully. The chances are low. I already did this side and I just did it again. Oh well, we're gonna look extra snatched, I guess. I'm not wearing the makeup for that long, so I don't know why I'm trying to keep it on. I started using this new powder from Hourglass. Well, I don't think it's new, but it's new to me. I used the Laura Mercier one for years. I'm ready for something new. Why am I using the tiniest brush? You just wait until you see the earrings I'm gonna wear. Uh. Anytime I drink out of a can. I'm not gonna lie, having a camera on and talking to it, because I know you guys are on the other end, it genuinely does feel like I'm spending time with somebody. Running the risk of making me sound like an actual crazy person, I feel like I hear what you guys would respond sometimes. I'm Maybe that's just because I read your guys' comments. You should comment on this video if you love me. And if you don't love me, that's fine, but you should know that I love you anyways. And I appreciate you anyways. Even if you hate me for some reason. If you hate watch me, can you be honest and comment it down below? <laughs> and then tell me why. Remind me to buy a planner. And then you have to remind me to use the planner because I've bought planners before, but I don't write in them. And I need to make that like a part of my routine. Write everything for the week that I have to get done. That way I'm on top of it. So I actually have time to go explore, which gives you guys fun videos and stuff too. Now that I'm in my house and I don't have to worry about moving anymore, I wanna go out and explore Nashville. I'm gonna be sitting in a coffee shop all day tomorrow because I fell a little bit behind, but that's okay. I was listening to Emma's podcast today. If you guys don't listen to Anything Goes, you need to do that. I want a podcast so bad just because sometimes I like talking. Well, obviously I like talking. I was listening to her podcast today. She was talking about just YOLOing it more in life. I love that. She said that she started to say yes to more things. She said that she said no to red carpets for a long time because she didn't feel like she was fancy enough to be going to the red carpet. Carpets. She had the perspective of everyone that shows up to the red carpets, I kind of knows that they're just playing dress up. As much as we like to think all of those celebrities look like they do at the Met Gala or at the Oscars every single day, they don't look like that. They look like me and you, just with more plastic surgery. Don't compare yourself to them. If I take that mindset into my life and I say, oh, everybody is stressed about the things that I'm stressed about, or we're all faking it. When I'm out in the grocery store, instead of thinking, oh my God, everyone has their life together, probably so happy all the time, and I'm not happy all the time. What am I doing wrong? Instead of having no thoughts, I can think to myself, all of us in here, we're doing our best to get by. I know that wasn't the concept I was trying to get across necessarily, but that's what I took from it. And to just say yes to more things and stop being so damn afraid, which I think was already my motto for this year. This just takes so much concentration. This is gonna be a thick wing. This one is long and this one's short. You thought that was just eyeliner? Wrong. It was actually the eyelash glued too. And now we're ready to film. Do you see how little of my bed you allowed me to have last night? Do you see how much of the bed you took up? Again, I've been sleeping in this tiny sliver and you have this whole bed you could sleep on. But you wanted to sleep as close to me as possible. Do you have any comments about that? You sure are cute though. I'm sorry I forgot to take your harness off last night. I kinda just fell asleep, huh? I was like falling off of the bed all night just so you could have room. <laughs> I was up so late last night. I'm a grandma. I go to sleep early. We don't mess with that shit around here. But I was up so late, schlubbing, schlubbing, schlubbing. I was working and I got the worst sleep because I had no part of my bed. I had to sleep on a sliver of my bed last night because my dog would not give me any room. Another day, another day to... I don't know. My only goal right now is to be productive and somehow get a Red Bull in my hand. A nice, girthy Judge Bros Red Bull. You still have not moved. Do you understand though? Like, I slept right here. You could have slept anywhere on this bed. You slept right there. I think I've fallen for you. And I don't know why. I don't know why. 
You love the summer rain In mid-July Mid-July one of my new goals to make myself feel better and be more productive is to just take 30 minutes in the morning and get ready. It may have taken me like an hour today. And I noticed the past few days, just because I've been moving and stuff, I looked like a big turd ball. The worse I feel about how I look and the worse I feel about myself, the worse I treat myself. And if you're wondering if you look good, you do. I did this myself, you know. I organized her myself. I don't really feel like dressing up. I know for sure I wanna wear these. I just got them. They're all white platform converses. That doesn't really help me pick an outfit because those would go with anything. I can wear a cute sweater. I really feel like I'm just gonna go with my normal outfit. Because I don't even know what I'm doing today. Like I can always change later. But right now I just want to go get Dutch Bros. Leggings. I caved. I'm gonna wear a Nike zip up. Stop thinking about it and just put clothes on. I don't have enough hands. What do we have here? Is it a roll away kitty? I think it's the perfect cute casual outfit. This is my idea of like put together, but I'm also not doing anything today. I want to be cute and comfy. Usually I just leave my clothes in a pile wherever I take them off. Like I've mentioned a million times, the book Atomic Habits. I feel like everyone all of a sudden is reading and living by this book now. Don't just take your clothes off and leave them on the floor. Be 1% better. We're gonna go put them in the laundry basket. 1% better. in this house is upstairs and downstairs and the upstairs one is working just fine i come down here and this one's not on i'm gonna have to figure that out when i get home come on let's go duncan where did i put my car keys later that same evening i'm gonna take this as an opportunity to un Pack. I want nothing more than to have a big couch right here and to just sit on it and watch TV But I know I won't be able to enjoy those moments until I just bunker down and get all of this put away Cords don't need to be here. He wants to go outside so bad. I can't take you outside right now. It's raining I know one of you guys is sitting there saying like Samantha take your dog outside anyway Who cares if it's raining? My dog cares that it's raining. He doesn't like getting wet He will not go to the bathroom outside if it's wet. I promise you that. Hello sneakers. Are you hungry? Every time sneakers come up, I try and get her, get her to eat. Some of this stuff probably needs to go under the sink, but a massive box of cleaning supplies. This is my life. I'm not gonna set myself up for disappointment. I know I'm not gonna finish all these boxes today. I feel like as long as I'm doing a couple of them every single day, before I know it, they'll all be gone. How is my cleaning cart dirty? It holds cleaning supplies. Bathroom cleaner. This is just water, I think. It is. It's called cat spray. Whenever Dobby is being mean to Snickers, I would squirt him with this. I did go to Dutch Bros. Sorry, I didn't bring you with me. Please forgive me. Today I tried an OG gummy bear. It's pretty good. Am I the only one whose energy reflects whatever the weather looks like outside? Kind of a Debbie Downer outside right now and it's just giving me Debbie Downer vibes. Every once in a while, it being like a cloudy, rainy day, makes me happy. Like you cuddle up and read a book and snuggle and watch TV. We're not really in an environment, we're not really in an environment where I can do that right now. I really have to find a way to be productive. The only time rainy days are enjoyable is when you're just sitting, reading a book, like I said. We have things to do. Also update my thermostat still doesn't work but i don't really feel like calling anybody right now my one upstairs works so if it gets hot i'll just go upstairs and then i can't blame myself for wanting to be in bed because my bed is the only place that's air conditioned cleaning car room spray Ooh, i was hoping i would find these every time i use these somebody comments about how bad they are for you i'm gonna use them because i bought them but i need somebody to explain to me why they're bad for you if you have a really good supporting argument i won't buy any more of them i will be using the one Ones that I have already purchased. Where should we put it? Beautiful. A big bag of washcloths. That should go in a drawer. Stain and odor eliminator. I never used to clean anything. When I started to clean everything, I got so excited and bought way too many cleaning supplies without actually researching what I wanted or needed. Carpet odor eliminator. I don't own any carpets. It's a whole box of the Glade stuff. I can put more up. I told you I wouldn't buy any more. I also told you that I was gonna use the ones I have. Having so many animals in your house, I'm paranoid that my house is gonna smell like wet dog. We're on a mission. Can you just come out? This is what I'm doing. I'm just an ordinary girl. We've got Swiffer cleaner. I don't even know if I can use this. Is this safe for wood flooring? 
Oh no, we have to go fast. The Windex exploded. No, 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 no. Good thing I have a bag of towels. Windex can't be on the floor. Don't bug me. We move quickly, we move swiftly. We handle things as an independent woman would. We get everything out, we wipe it down. Oh, I'm stressed now. Why is there wine in my cleaning box? Go lightning. Holy moly, that's a lot of rubber bands. Bacon soda. You see how wet it is? I set it upside down so it's not wet on my floor. I know for a fact you're not supposed to use Windex on wood floors. If you could see just how covered in dog hair I am, you would probably gag. Huh? we go. Precisei sair pra poder 